myself M. A. Mahant, working in Computer Science and Engineering Department as an Assistant Professor in Valtin Institute of Technology, Solapur. Today we are going to discuss the topic organizing data in a traditional file environment. Learning outcome. At the end of this session, student will be able to describe about organizing data in a traditional file environment. First, we have to define some terminologies and basic concepts of this file organization terms. A bit represents the smaller unit of data a computer can handle. A group of bits called byte represents single character which can be letter, number or any other symbol. A grouping characters into word, a group of words, a complete number such as person's name or age is called field. A group of related fields such as student's name, the course taken, the date and the grade compromise the record. A group of record of the same type is called file. A record describes an entity. An entity is a person, place or thing or even on which we store and maintain the information. Each characteristics or quality describing a particular entity called attribute. For example, student ID, course date and grade are attributes of the entity course. This is the diagram of uh, the file organized terms and concepts where byte, bit, byte, field, record, file and database, all uh, basic concepts of database can be shown. Here, uh, bit is nothing but a single bit. Uh, then byte can be defined, a field can be defined, then record is collect a tuple or row, all the uh, schemas or tables are stored in a file and all the files are stored in the database. Now, problems with the traditional file environment. Each application of course required its own files and own computer program to operate. For example, the human resources functional area might have personal master file, payroll file, medical insurance file, a pension file, a mailing list file and so forth until uh, attains perhaps hundreds or files and programs uh, existed in the company as a whole. The, this process of multiple master file created, maintained and operated by separate divisions and departments. As this process uh, goes on, after 5 to 10 years, the organization is saddled with the hundreds of programs and applications that are very difficult to maintain and manage. The resulting problem of data redundancy and inconstancy, program data dependence, in, uh, inflexibility, poor data security and inability to share data among the applications. Organizing data in a traditional file environment. So problems with the traditional file environment, file maintained by different departments. So data redundancy means presence of duplicate data in multiple files, data inconsistency, same attribute has different values, da program data independence. Uh, when change, changes a progr in program require changes to data accessed by the program, lack of flexibility, poor security, lack of data sharing and availability. Now we are going to see one by one. Uh, data redundancy is the presence of duplicate data in multiple files so that the same data are stored in more than one place or location. Data redundancy occurs when different groups in an organization independently collect the same piece of data and store independently of each other. Data redundancy waste storage resources and also lead to data inc uh, inconsistency where the same attribute may have different values. For example, in uh, I instances of the entity course uh, illustrated, the date may be updated in some system but not in the others. The same attribute student ID may have also different names in the system throughout the organization. So this is the diagram of traditional file processing where the separate file is used for manufacturing, separate user file used for sales and marketing, separate uh, users are using the file for human HR, human resources and special users uh, accounting and finance, the users are using separate file. So these all the files are stored in the master file. So the use of relational uh, traditional approach file processing encourages each functional area in, in the corporation to develop specialized application. Each application requires unique data file that is likely to be a subset of master file. These subsets of master file lead to the data redundancy and inconsistency 
processing, inflexibility and waste and storage of resources. Next is <coughs> program data dependence. Program data dependent refers to the coupling of data stored in files and the specific program required to update and maintain to uh, those files and changes the program require changes to the data. Every traditional computer has to describe the location and the nature of data with which the it works. In traditional file environment, uh, any change in software program could require a change in the data accessed by that program. One program might be modified from a uh, five digit to nine digit. Uh, zip code. If the original data file were changed from the five digit to nine digit zip code, then the other program that required the five digit zip code would no longer work properly. Such changes could cost million of dollars to implement properly. Next is lack of flexibility. A traditional file system can be uh, can de deliver routine scheduled shed reports and after uh, extensive programming efforts, but it cannot be delivered ad hoc reports or respond to uh, unanticipated information requirement in a timely fashion. The information required by ad hoc report is somewhere in the system, but may be too expensive to retrieve. Next is poor security. Because there is little uh, control or management of data access uh, to dissimulation of information out of control, management may have uh, uh, no way uh, knowing who is accessing or even making changes uh, to the organization's data. Next is lack of uh, data sharing and availability. Because of piece of information in different files, different parts of the organization cannot be related to one another. It is virtually impossible for information to be shared and accessed in many timely manner. Information cannot flow freely across the different functional areas or different parts of the organization. If users find different values of the same piece of information in two different systems, they may not use to use these systems because they cannot trust the accuracy of their data. The next is how DBMS solve the problem of the traditional file environment. A DBMS reduces the data redundancy and inconsistency by minimizing isolated files in which the same data are uh, repeated. Uh, the DBMS uh, may not be enabled the organization to eliminate data redundancy entirely, but it cannot help control redundancy. Even if the organization maintains some redundant data using DBMS eliminate data inconsistency, because the DBMS can help the organization ensure that every occurrence of redundant data uh, the same values. Now, relational database management system. Contemporary DBMS use different database model keep track of entities, attributes, and relationship. The most of the popular type of DBMS today PCs uh, as well as target pro computers are mainframe uh, and mainframe uh, uses the relational DBMS. Relational data may represent two dimensional tables. Table may be uh, referred to as files. Each table contains uh, data to an entity and its attributes. So Microsoft accesses relational DBMS uh, to, uh, for desktop systems whereas DB2 Oracle database and Microsoft SQL Server Relational Database Management System maintains and manages the computer. MySQL is popular open source DBMS. So this is the diagram of Relational Database uh, Management System where supplier and part are two table. They are connecting with each other by using the primary key in supplier uh, number as a primary key in supplier table and uh, supplier number as a foreign key in part table. So this is the uh, we can advantage of using Relational Database Management so we can connect um, two or more than two tables in a relational database management system. Now I'm asking one question to all the students and you have to uh, give the answer of this question. Dash is the presence of duplicate data in multiple data files. Option A data written say option B data integrated, option C data dictionary, option D none of these. Pause the video and write the answer. The correct answer is data redundancy. So data de redundancy is the presence of duplicate data in multiple data files. The database approach to data management, the opera operations of relational DBMS, three basic operations used to develop the useful sets of data. Select, create subset of data all records that meet stated criteria. Join, combine relational table to provide user with more than information uh, then available in, in individual tables. Project, create subset of 
columns in table creating tables with only the information specified the next is uh, non relational database no sql more flexible data model data sets stored across distributed machine easier to scale handle large volumes of uh, unstructured and structured data database in the cloud typically the less functionality than the uh, on premises databases amazon relational database service microsoft sql azure and private clouds now we are going to see capabilities of database management system data definition capability specify structure of database used to create and define the characteristics of field data dictionary uh, automated or manual file storing definition of data elements and their characteristics data manipulation language used to add delete and retrieve uh, data from database structured sql query languages uh, microsoft access and uh, user tool for generating sql many dbms has report generation capability for creating polished reports such as crystal reports these are the references thank you